Hi everybody, this is Lars Lemier from MamaWorld.com and today I'm going to talk to you about using Mocha Import Plus with Nuke's Planar Tracker. Here we are in Nuke. Now Mocha Import Plus for Nuke is designed to work with Mocha's tracking data inside of Nuke. That means you can easily load Mocha's tracking data into the nodes that you can see here. These nodes already exist in Nuke. The only difference is that the plus in the end indicates that you can load Mocha's tracking data into them. But you can also use these nodes in combination with Nuke's Planar Tracker. The key idea here is that the tracking data, which you can load into Mocha Import Plus, is technically just a corner pin node. And that means you can use it with any other tracker that is able to create normal corner pin nodes. Let me show you how that works. For this shot, I have tracked this lady's lips and created a Roto Plus node to isolate her lips for a color correction. But the Roto shape is not animated. Now let's say that I want to use Nuke's planar tracking data to move this roto shape instead of animating it manually. Therefore, I have to paste Nuke's planar tracking data into the roto plus node. To do that, we have to go to the planar tracker's tracking tab and under export where it says create corner pin 2D relative, we have to uncheck link output because we need a corner pin node that has the tracking data baked into it. Now we just have to click on create Copy the corner pin node, go to the Mocha Import Plus tab of the Roto Plus node, and click on From Clipboard. The Roto shape is now being driven by the corner pin tracking data. But since that is now also baked into the Roto Plus node, you can further refine the quality of your Roto shape by adding more keyframes. Another awesome feature of Mocha Import Plus is the Stabilized View function. This feature stabilizes a tracked area, so you can easily manipulate your imagery and then it puts this retouched area back into its place. In order to let Nuke's Planar Tracker generate a corner pin node that is suitable for the stabilized view setup, you have to follow two rules. The first one is to edit your planar surface area after the tracking is done, so that it then covers the area you want to retouch, not only the trackable area. To do that, you just have to click on the button where it says Correct Plane and give the surface the aspect ratio of your source footage. In this case, it's 16 by 9. The second rule is to have the corner pin points in this order. Point 1 in the lower left, 2 in the lower right, 3 in the upper right, and 4 in the upper left. If you don't follow these rules, you might end up with a setup like this. I have used this tool for a few years now. First in After Effects and now in Nuke. It's definitely worth to take a look at if you don't know it yet. If you want to take an in-depth look at Mocha Import Plus for Nuke, you can go to its settings and click on Watch In-Depth Tutorial. You can get Mocha Import Plus for Nuke at aescripts.com or download a trial version. Again, my name is Lars Vemia from MamaWorld.com and goodbye everybody.